Well, data protection as an idea comes out of the kind of post-World War II and Cold War era, and it comes out of a concern where you had totalitarian governments all over Europe, and there were worries about the overpowerful state knowing everything about you. European Union law developed the idea of data protection as a separate right from privacy, so that the, the data protection is effectively a human right to privacy, but specific to your data. The EU has paved the way, so to speak, for how personal data is going to be treated um, globally, one, one could add. So it's, uh, it's unprecedented change that's happening right now um, and involves constant review um, and attention. Um, so uh, the fact that you're, you know, obviously looking at this, taking an interest in it, um, obviously it means you're, you're familiar with how important and significant this is. The individual data protection rights are coming into conflict with the rights of powerful actors such as large corporations and the state. And that is why enforcement today is very, very important to provide individuals, because data protection is an individual right, with the mechanisms to ensure that their personal data is handled legally and where it's not to uh, have access to justice so that they can enforce their rights. The regulation of privacy here, first of all, it's not just an Irish issue, it's not just a European issue, it's a worldwide issue. You look at the number of technology firms that are headquartered here, you look at the number of firms that have Ireland as the headquarters for their European, Middle Eastern, and Africa operations, you find that the Data Protection Commission, for example, has become the de facto regulator of the privacy of a substantial chunk of the world.